So we've run through the subjective assessment, the objective assessment, the analysis of the subjective and the uh, objective assessment. Now we come up to the treatment. I'd like to challenge every single person out there who are treating people in sports, who are treating people, it doesn't matter if it's elite, sub-elite, uh, weekend sports, um, even if you're treating your grandma, okay, even if you're treating your grandma, I'd like to challenge you to get 10 to 20 percent improvements after each session. Um, this is probably one of the big factors that has gotten me good results over the last um, last maybe seven, eight years. Um, and I'd probably like to say even earlier, because from a very from from the onset, I was always trying to strive to get better results. How can I better results? And um, if you can try and target this, you're going to try to better yourself as a practitioner. You're always going to find solutions. You're always going to look at finding solutions. And you're always going to go out there and say, wow, you know, I've, I've worked out something new to help my person. You might come back and, you know, one treatment session, you might get a 70% result. A 70% improvement. Now, when I talk about 70%, I'm talking about a 70% in a functional test. Uh, I'm talking about a 70% improvement in an objective sign. Uh, so, so an asterisk. So you want to try and get an improvement out of something that you've measured. Um, you might get an overall improvement, say, out of the five tests that you have got for the person. Three of them have improved by 70%. Um, and then just one of those, or uh, out of the five tests, two of them are only a 20% improvement. That brings your average down, but when you average it all out, you know, you're still way up there. So you want to try and target a 10 to 20% improvement at each session.